everyone, I'm Christina, one of the mods on the channel, and I have been given the opportunity to test and review the Solium Smart Hummingbird Feeder. Here's a quick rundown of how the feeder works. The feeder is wireless and connected via Wi-Fi. It has high resolution video capability with both audio and infrared night vision. It is triggered by motion to activate a 10 second video recording. You can easily view and download videos from the app to your phone. Live mode view allows you to watch in real time. There is an AI bird identification feature if you subscribe to one of the Solium plans. Here's everything that's included with the feeder. Getting your feeder set up right out of the box is super straightforward. You're going to want to start by charging your camera. And I think it's important for me to note that you might have to turn the battery off for the battery to actually take a charge. That's what I had to do. Um, I was having some issues prior to that. But otherwise, once your camera is charged, you want to screw the antenna into the back of the camera here and you would put the perch on as well but i'm going to show you how to take everything apart so that you can easily clean and i think it's important to see how easy this is to clean so to remove the camera you're just going to press with your fingertips on the front here and then just press backwards it'll pop right out and everything will Come apart in two separate pieces. The base is two separate pieces. So it's really easy to get in there and clean. The flowers all pop out oops, individually and the white part is silicone. So it's really easy to get on and off. You get the proper brushes that you need to clean this which is really nice. I was happily surprised with that. And it looks pretty narrow in the main body of the feeder, but this brush is perfect. It fits right in there, in the side. So now that everything is disassembled, we need to get it back together. So you're gonna start by, if you took the flowers out, you're gonna put them back on. You press the red part of the base down on top of the clear part and it'll just kind of nestle on there and it won't fall off if you turn it upside down. Um, we're going to put the perch, it just presses into the front groove here. I'm gonna put the perch on. I'm gonna put the camera in and you'll hear a little click. It'll slide right in, you'll hear a click when it's actually in there. And then you think you would want to just put this on the base, but no, when we're actually going to fill it, we start by putting the lid on because we need to turn it upside down when we fill it, we need to flip it. So I'm going to do that here. And then we're going to fill a little bit. And then you're just going to put the base on top and screw it right on. And there's no guesswork um, when it actually is lined up and on properly, it'll just be right in front. So let's go hang it up and see what kind of hummingbirds we can see.
Overall, I have enjoyed the feeder and it seems pretty well designed. My only real issue is that the perch is too low for the angle of the feeding ports, so the hummingbirds can't actually sit down as they drink, as you can see in this clip. This isn't necessarily a big deal, as hummingbirds have no issues hovering while they drink, but I do notice that my hummingbirds prefer to sit while drinking whenever given the option, so it's a definite design flaw in my opinion. Because I do think the feeder is great otherwise, I've opted to rig up a new perch about three quarters of an inch higher than the actual perch using twine wrapped wire and I'm happy to say that my hummingbirds have been using it and sitting down while they drink. I did contact the company about the perch functionality and I'm hoping that they implement a design tweak in the future. One feature I really like on the app is the little dot that shows you have not yet viewed a video clip. I have a different camera bird feeder from another company and their app does not do this, so I know from experience that it makes browsing your day's recordings much easier, assuming you are just watching them all in one sitting. I do wish that there was an option for video clips longer than 10 seconds. I checked out the subscription options because I would personally pay a little bit to get 30 second recordings or so, but I didn't see any information suggesting that subscribing will give you an option for longer clips, only for longer and larger cloud storage. It's definitely fun and fascinating seeing these little guys up close, and I think any hummingbird enthusiast would enjoy this feeder a lot. I hope I was able to answer any questions you may have had about the Solium hummingbird feeder. And if you have any additional questions, I'm happy to address them in the comments. Happy birding, everyone.